Hello everyone, uh, this is Carl Shefflett from Infragistics and in this short video I'm going to show you how to create ranges in the ZAM linear gauge, ZAM radial gauge, and the ZAM bullet graph. So let's go ahead and open up a, a ZAM radial gauge and i open up my configurator here. And <clears throat> what I'd like to uh, show you is the number of ways that you can first create ranges and then how to edit them. So uh, up here in the range group in the ribbon, you, you could pick right here, say you want uh, five ranges. You can click on it, and it'll just go ahead and create the five ranges for you. Now you're going to notice that it created them from 0 to 100. Here's our min and here's our max from 0 to 100, and it makes them equidistant, right? So you get some nice uh, evenly spaced ranges that, that you can see um, with the color band here. All right, so I'm going to clear those out. That's how you can clear your ranges. And I can come over here and I can key in a five and it'll create the same uh, number of ranges, right? All right, so now what if I wanted to create ranges that were from uh, zero to 70 and then 80, 90, 100? Well, that scenario is covered. There, there's a nice tool tip here and, and you could read it. So essentially well, what we're going to do, we're, we're just going to key in the example here. So we're going to start at zero. I'm going to go to 70, then 80, then 90, then 100. I'll hit create, and you can see here it goes from 0 to 70 and then 80, 90, 100. So that's pretty cool, right? So you can create a, pretty much any kind of ranges you want um, and without having to manually add them. All right, so what happens if you change your min and your max, right? So I'm, I'm going to change my max to 200, and what I want you to do is watch what happens. So what it did is it went and it and it created them and it made them equidistant. See how they're equidistant? It, it doesn't really follow the pattern that you had before. So if you want to do that same pattern where you're going to go say 0 to 140, 160, oops, 160, 180, and then 200. By the way, that, that little... Um, triangle you're seeing is that it 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 it's parsing the string all the time that you're keying in and it makes sure that it, it's valid and you can create it so you can see here again how we're able to do that that's pretty cool right all right so now you can also edit these right so you can click on a range and then you can edit its values so these values here are what make the range have shape and and the different pieces like that so th there's these extents so you can see where you can do some pretty uh, cool things just by uh, using these tools here or using this slider. Then there's a outer end extent. So here you can see how, how you can create something kind of interesting um, it, it, if your scenario um, would require that, right? All right, then you can also multi, uh, so you can select and if you hit control, um, Control click, it selects and unselects to pretty much just like any Windows uh, list box. Then you can also uh, multi select. So you, here, what I did is I pressed, I selected the first one, I held my shift key down, and I selected them all. And you can see how you can um, you can edit some, uh, multi edit some properties. All right, so that's how the ranges work. That's how you uh, add and remove them. And uh, I hope this video has been helpful uh, to you. Thanks, and have a great day.